Oh hello good people what it do yeah but um to um to abandon num um to abandon all right so today what do I have today I have another segment of the Anunnaki but I'll be talking only about one goal. Uh, previously I told you that um Anu had kids and those kids also they wanted to to be gods they also had extraterrestrial powers so they believed that they are gods so they wanted to be worshipped like any other god okay so let's talk about enki all right before i talk about enki i have to i have to talk about uh, another god who is called alalu alalu was also another god from uh Nibiru, the planet Nibiru that I, I i i i i was talking about on the previous episode of the anunnaki okay so alalu uh, seems like alalu was fighting with anu you know so alalu when he lost the the, the the war he lost the battle with anu so he had to leave Nibiru. so the outcome of, of of the battle between anu and alalu there in Nibiru, it was devastating they were using uh, weapons of terror, especially Alalu used nuclear on his uh, weapons. So it was one of the things that speeds up the process of deteriorating Nibiru, you know. So Alalu was uh, was expelled from Nibiru by Anu, because Anu now, after de defeating Alalu, he actually declared himself as uh, the ultimate the ultimate god of Nibiru. So everybody had to bow down to him after that. So Alalu took on, ex on an expedition to go find gold. You know, after the, the, a, a, an argument there in Nibiru, like as I said on the first episode, that they, they knew that only gold was the solution to their problem in Nibiru. So uh, Alalu took on, an, on that expedition. It said that he used a spaceship, a celestial uh, ship, a celestial ship is a spaceship, I, I think, because uh, it's it was digital, as it as it is said here on the Sumerian texts. It was digital. It had a tablet, like the the modern tablets that we we use. It had a tablet that calculated the mission, how long the mission was gonna take, and the things that they were going. He was going to encounter along the way, but he took on that, on that mission anyway. So he passed a lot of planets, you know. So I'll just. Uh, say the names of the planets although it's not all of them because i haven't finished actually the 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 all these texts i haven't finished them so i'm just giving you of what i've already understood you know so he passed a lot of planets and alalu gave those planets names you know so and uh, and uh, coincidentally the names that alalu gave to the planets uh he gave them according to his kids you know so there was a uh, gaga which was pluto there was uh an which was uranus there was Antu, which was neptune you know there was a uh, lamu which was mars which was red in color you know so they knew all of these things you know so it's 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 actually baffling you know it's actually baffling like these texts, as I have said, that these texts are ancient, very old, thousands and thousands of years ago, but they are talking about modern things, the things that we only experienced on Earth here and now, like tablets, the spaceships, in, in, uh, nuclear power, everything. It's, it's everything is here, it's being talked about, and you will see that as I go, these uh, demigods, these deities, these semigods, uh, they wanted to be worshipped, right? So you will see how they how they sowed how they sowed the seed the seed of worship on unto us you will see so if you look at the the religions currently you will see that they took all these gods uh and then they picked only the nice things from these gods and then they they, they made one god who is yahweh on the bible you know so but they took characters a lot of characters for characters from these gods starting from Ana, anu Alalu, um, Maduk, Enki, Enlil, you know, they took all the characters that, that were good, all the things that they, they were saying that were good or that uh, showed power or that told good stories, you know. But, you know, every time you, 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 
you talk about these things, people think that you are delusional. You 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 want to to take down some religions. You want to talk bad of religion and stuff. But well, once you you read this text by yourself and you understand that uh, it is actually these texts are actually older than what you are you, the Bible are actually older than any other texts. They need to hit like Kali. It will hit like Kali on your head so that you understand that uh, we are not here out here. Uh, you think I, I don't have anything to do like to I have a lot of things to do But I take my time to share this information with you and then somebody okay. I'm talking about there's somebody who actually Called me and said ah, he called me after I released my first uh, Anunnaki episode he told me that I know this what you are you are going you are going to to discredit discredit Christianity and all so I said to him well, I'm I'm not targeting Christianity I'm not targeting anything, but I'm just talking from what I read from these texts, and these texts are old. So, if ever there's anything that is similar to the Bible that I'm reading from these texts, then that means the Bible borrowed it from that from the texts. That's the truth. That's the truth of the matter. So it doesn't matter. You become angry or you become happy or whatever, but um, the truth is the, is the truth. It doesn't care. The truth doesn't care about your feelings. It will hit you like Kali, man. Like I've said, it will hit you like Kali. Right? So, let me continue. Uh, so, uh, after Alalu took on the expedition, Alalu passed all these planets, and then when he was up, out, <coughs> he was, it said that he carried his metal detector. He, he was testing all these planets if they had gold. They didn't have gold until he reached a planet, uh, he reached a an asteroid belt he reached an asteroid belt which was between earth and the other planets so he if you want to pass that asteroid belt you will have to to use some form of power some magnetic power but Alalu used the, uh, his weapons of terra nuclear to pass the asteroid belt and then as soon as he passed that asteroid belt the metal detector started beeping that uh, this planet that you are in right now, it is the, the metals that you are looking for. It is copper. It is So imagine they are talking about copper. They are talking about uranium. They are talking about platinum. They are talking about gold, silver in the ancient times. In the ancient times. We are talking about thousands and thousands of years ago. So you must take these things serious. You know, you, you can maybe you, you, you might not take me serious or maybe I'm not good articulating these things but i'm trying my best to make you understand that uh they 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 there is a, a lot of coincidence which is which is really not coincidental you know so let me continue so when he reached uh, earth he, he started uh, mining for gold he, he established these uh, settlements and everything and you, when you should bear in mind that in earth there were people already there were people on earth, especially in Africa. There were people already in earth. Although those people were not in the Homo sapiens sapien form. Maybe they were Homo sapiens. And then when the, the Anunnakis came, they upgraded them to be Homo sapiens sapiens so that we reason, so that we think, so that we 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 think for future. We don't live like animals. We don't behave like animals. We behave like they have the gods, you know, <clears throat> because they met them. In this Sumerian text, it said that they made us in their image. They made us to behave like them, you know. So whatever that we are doing now, we took it from Anunnaki. If you have intelligence, you took the intelligence from the Anunnaki, you know. So let me continue. So Alalu, he, he settled there for a long time. There in Nepal, another Asha was coming. And then it was now... A, a, a make or die like if we cannot produce gold in this certain time then we, we must uh, we might as well forget about Nepal. it's going to burn anyway so another meeting was held there in, but now i know he had a, he held a meeting with his kids it was a council those kids they were in the council of the gods so where else do you hear about the council of the gods isn't it in genesis in the bible okay so let me pass but let me pass because it's a lot of things. So it's a lot of things that are in in, in Genesis in the Bible that were, that were taken from the Sumerian text anyway. All right. So that council, the kids said, uh, 
Alalu maybe he is angry after the war. He wants a, he wants us to die here in Ekberu. So let us go and find God. But uh, Anu said, okay, you will go. But Anu knew that his kids, they wanted to be God. So all of them, they wanted to find God. All of them, they wanted to run around and, and find God and all. So he, he said, okay, you will go one by one. First, it was Enki, right? The one that I'm, I'm here about, Enki. The one that I'm here about, the powerful Enki. Enki, I believe that Enki, we, we as human beings, we owe Enki a lot. He fought a lot of battles uh, for us. His other brothers wanted to kill us, like Maduk and Lil, they didn't want to discuss even about us. When he raised the point in the camp, in the assembly of the gods, that uh, there are people there, we should, we, we should uh, mix our blood a little bit with them so that they have such wisdom and they do the work that we, we do. They were not happy, and Lil was not happy about that. Matuk was mad about that. Like, these humans, man, let, let, let us just wipe them out. We don't want them having this um, royal blood because they are going to be clever. These kids are going to do this, this, and that. So let us wipe them out. But uh, Enki had, another, had different plans. He, he planned civilization for humans. He, he taught humans uh, agriculture when he came here. He taught everything, science, alchemy, he opened universities. So the most important thing about Enki is that when Enki came here to Earth, he didn't want to go anywhere. He wanted to, to establish his settlements here in Africa. Enki first uh, uh, settlement, he, he, he settled in Aritsu. Yeah, I think it's Aritsu. Yeah, so he settled there and then he established his second city in the southern Africa. And in that city, why I'm saying it's the southern, southern Africa, it's called Absu Eret. I think it's Absu Eret or Absu Eret. So if you check the meaning of Absu Eret, it's uh, South Africa, Southern Africa. That's the meaning of Absu Eret. So, and it said that when uh, Enki came here on Earth, he had to form a pact with Alalu that I'm not going to, to fight you or I'm not going to create another battle because Alalu, he wanted to control Earth. He said, okay, I'm here on Earth. You, you can do whatever you are doing there in Neperu. Here on Earth, I'm the God. So they had to form a pact with Enki when he came here on Earth. He said, okay, you are going to be acknowledged on whatever I'm going to say or whatever I'm going to do. So... Enki was always acknowledging Alalu, was always acknowledging Alalu in, ev in everything that he does. And I think that's where this word Allah comes from. So you will understand once we, we once I sing out Alalu as a God, you will understand why I'm saying that. Okay, so let me continue with Enki. So Enki, he even, uh, he even took Alalu's child, Antu. And it said that this uh, relationship of Enki and Antu was cultivated or they stayed in Absu Eretz in the southern part of Africa. Antu, and if we look, where do we find the people who are called Bantu? The Bantu people, where do we find them? Umundu, we find them in the southern part of Africa. And in, 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 in Absu Eretz, it said that uh, Enki had a lot of secular secular monuments where he used to communicate with his father uh annoying neighbor and some of them were sickly were settlements where do we see them there is uh, uh a lot of um uh, what do you call this Kweneng, Kweneng settlements in 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 in, in um what do you call eastern Kweneng, after eastern Kweneng, there's Kweneng settlements secular ancient ancient of the ancient and then there's a uh, great zimbabwe there is Mapungukwe in Venda, secular. There is Kami. If you if you can go back to my videos, there is a video that I did where I went straight to Kami. You know, there is a, a certain feeling that you get when you go to the, to to those monuments. You know, so you can go and check the, my video. I was just roaming around, just catching the feeling. You know, so it was nice. It was nice. So I, I can I urge you you guys to go to these places. Some people they call them Potter. I believe that. It's anything that you want it to be. It can be those portals. It can be power generators. It can be uh, religious centers. It can be settlements. It can be whatever. Because these Anunnaki's, 
They are no longer here. And the information that was supposed to tell us what are these monuments for was taken away from us. Was taken. This is some information that was taken away from us, like the Enuma Elish, the Epic of Gilgamesh, the Sumerian uh, templates, the what else? What else? Let me see. What else do I have? Uh, the Epic, the, the Mesopotamian. Uh, the Mesopotamian scripts, all this information was taken away from us. So that's why we do not know today what are these things for, what are these pyramids for, and you know. But I'm talking about Enki and Andu. Uh, and if you if you come to check like uh, Ubuntu, what is the essence of Ubuntu? I find out that Ubuntu is a feminine energy. It's an energy that that will embrace the caressing of uh, like it will embrace the the unity of people it will embrace the relationships that are good amongst people you know respect and such things so it's a feminine energy ubuntu so then it it, it parallels straight to 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 that uh, thing that i'm saying that uh, Antu was a was the wife of uh Enki. so we come from such uh we come from such um civilization you know so this is it guys this is it about enki but uh so on the next one i want to continue about um someone different maybe enlil maduk anui as a whole or maybe alalu but today i just wanted to talk about enki because i think enki is the most important uh god here all right so what else is it that makes me think that enki is, is the God that they are think that that they are talking about on the Bible? You know, in in this Sumerian text, it said that Enki sometimes is represented as a snake, as a serpent. You know, and Enki is the one who who created uh, this, uh, who actually infused his blood to this humanoid that they found on Earth, on Africa. The, the human, the humanoid that was roaming around in Africa, Enki is the one who's, who devised the plan that uh, let us take this human and then they closed him in the garden of eden they closed him in, in such a garden but it's not said that it's garden of eden but it, it can't be that coincidental man it's the garden of eden that they are talking about on the bible they closed the, that man there and then out of that man they created uh, a female that will mate with that man you know so and one one thing that i want you to note in this garden of eden is that uh, Enki is saying here, this person that I've created here, from today you're going to call him the Adam. You are going to call him the Adam. So, oh guys, this can can't be. It cannot be coincidental. It cannot. It cannot. It really. This is where the Bible actually took these scriptures from. You know. So he created the Adam. He was sometimes represented by the symbol of a serpent. And Enki came back and said, you guys, I created you here. After they, they, they uh, infused everything and, and stuff, me a week or two, they came here and Enki said, you guys, I've, I've created you to re reproduce. Why are you not reproducing? You know, so they started reproducing. And where in the Bible do we, in the Bible in Genesis, we see that uh, the snake came back and, uh, told Adam and Eve to mate and then they started making children so man it cannot be coincidence it cannot be coincidence it can it can't it can't be you know so there is a lot that Enki influenced the, the bible with a lot so we can we, we can talk about a lot of things but the most important thing is for you to also go and try to to find because I cannot really grasp everything or talk everything in, in, in one video you know some people they don't want to watch long videos and also i will stop here i will stop here for today but uh let me just tell you the other things that enki did enki also is the one who went to the moon and then one uh is it one solar return of the moon he called it a, a month and then he added four months four months and then he called it a season so enki is the one who actually did all the these things that the romans are claiming and the and the greeks today all right so thank you guys for watching my videos so i really appreciate everybody uh, although I, I sometimes got heated up by the, the the things that the feedbacks that i'm getting from people but it's okay 
it actually keeps me going it gives me some uh, some drive to keep trying to do better and also please don't forget to subscribe subscribe like and share with your friends these videos they are enlightening video videos you cannot really you do not have any reason for you to not share with other people you know share with them share with them the wisdom i also want if you also if you also enlightened or seeking to be enlightened also you can share with me enlighten me as well you know so thank you so much guys uh this segment was for enki and the next one that i'm, I'm going to talk about in the mysteries of anunnaki is uh i think i'm going to talk about enlil between enlil and matuku the kids of anu all right thank you so much guys